Hi, the first part of today's lesson is about zero indices. Let's evaluate the value of 7 to the power of 0. You will need a calculator for this. What is the value of 23 to the power of 0? And what is the value of 425 to the power of 0? Now I have a calculator here which resembles the Casio model. For the first question, 7 to the power of 0. And what will we get? We'll have 1. 23 to the power of 0. We have 1 as well. 425 to the power of 0. And we'll have 1. Now if you choose any value. And and we let it have the power of 0 and we have 1 hence what do you think is the value of a to the power of 0 yes it is equals to 1 now you may ask why is anything to the power of 0 equals to 1 for this we will look at an example Using the law of indices, 7 to the power of 3 divided by 7 to the power of 3 is equal to 7 to the power of 3 minus 3, which can be simplified as 7 to the power of 0. Similarly, we can use direct calculation. 7 to the power of 3 divided by 7 to the power of 3, we will cancel out all the common terms. And we have 1. Since the first two expressions are the same, therefore, 7 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Again, we we'll look at another example. a to the power of 4 divided by a to the power of 4. Using the law of indices, we will have a to the power of 4 minus 4. And hence, we have a to the power of 0. Similarly, using direct calculation, we will have a to the power of 4 divided by a to the power of 4 and we will cancel out the common terms and finally we have the answer 1 therefore a to the power of 0 equals to 1 so what do you think is the value of 0 to the power of 0 now try not to use the calculator first do you think it is equals to 1? Or do you think it is equals to 0? Actually, it is neither of this answer. 0 to the power of 0 is actually undefined. Again, you may like to ask why. Let's use an example. 0 to the power of 5 divided by 0 to the power of 5. Using the law of indices, we have 0 to the power of 5 minus 5. And, and we have 0 to the power of 0. Similarly, if we use direct calculation, we will have this. Can we cancel out the common terms? The answer is no. Because anything divided by 0 is undefined. Hence, 0 to the power of 0 is undefined. Previously, we found that a to the power of 0 equals to 1. And now we know that a cannot be equal to 0. Otherwise, it will be undefined. Therefore, anything to the power of 0 will be equal to 1. And this is our sixth law of indices. So what have we learned so far? Previously, we have three law of indices with the same basis. Then we learned two other law of indices with the same powers. Now we have learned that a to the power of 0 equals to 1. In other words, any number or any unknowns to the power of 0 will be equals to 1. And bear in mind that a cannot be 0, otherwise it is undefined. That's the end of this part of the lesson. Do remember to watch the next PowerPoints on negative indices.